What are the noble gases? Do you care? Yes, you do. Let me tell you why. The noble gases are members of the periodic table in the elite group 18. There are six long-standing members and one new element that has yet to achieve full status. The widely accepted members are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Widely considered to be the punk rock band of the periodic table of elements, they are all odorless, colorless, monatomic, and have very low chemical reactivity. I am joined by my terribly annoying, yet educational, brother. Oh hey there, sport! How's it going? Mm, yes. I see that you aren't dead yet. Oh, I no, not the last time I checked! <laughs> Let's keep on subject. I hear that you are a self-proclaimed expert on the noble gases. Well, they don't call me Captain Gassy for nothing. <laughs> well, let's talk about, say, the uses of the noble gases. Helium is used for super cooling things like MRIs and for filling balloons so that they float. Yes, and for creating artificial atmospheres for deep sea divers so that they don't get the bends. Yep. Neon is used for, well, neon signs and gas lasers and stuff. Did you know that I was credited with the discovery of neon back in 1898? <laughs> no, you didn't. That was William Ramsey. He also discovered argon and obtained the first sample of helium. Oh, that was a, um, a test. Good job there, bud. Speaking of argon, Argon is used to add inert atmosphere when needed, like in between the panes of glass in high, in high efficiency homes or in high efficiency light bulbs. I hate it that I always have to think when I'm around you. I can't just learn something. <laughs> Keeps you on your toes, don't it? Yes, Krypton is essentially only used in fluorescent light bulbs. What about Xenon? Oh, light bulbs again. And a Xenon ion propulsion system that is used by several satellites to keep them in orbit. Is that true? <laughs> oh, I, I suppose it is really true then. Now, Radon is the bad boy of the group. Not very many uses, but he likes to sneak into people's basements and give them cancer. That brings us to the newest member, Organism. Remind me what it is again? Well, that is a tough question. Organism was discovered in 2002, but it was only named in 2016. It is artificially created and is the heaviest element discovered. As far as we know, only three atoms of it have ever existed. What? How is that possible? You see, Organison has the half-life of less than one millisecond. Then it decays into Livermoria. The way it is created was they took atoms of Californium and shot ions of calcium at it for five weeks straight, 24 hours a day. This produced Three atoms of organism that survive for less than a millisecond. So we don't really know anything about it other than we're pretty sure it exists. Ha! Huh, amazing! Well, it looks like I am out of time. If I had more time, I would tell you interesting facts about the noble gases like there is currently a growing shortage of helium. It is a non-renewable resource and we are expected to run out of the worldwide supply in approximately 30 years. No party balloons for my grandchildren. Now it's your turn. Do you believe that Organison actually exists? Partake in this survey and let your voice be heard. Let me know in the comments if you have a good idea for a topic. Cheerio what what? Till next time. For destructive creativity, I am the narrator. Oh, and did you know that if you hold your breath long enough, uh, you breathe out pure helium? That's not true.